All right, welcome everyone. What we're gonna learn today is how to create drag the words, a drag the words activity on H5P or using H5P on WordPress. And this is what it basically looks like. We have sentences with blanks in them. And on the side, we have words that we can drag and put into these blanks. So once we're done, drag them, put them, then you can see what you got wrong and what you got correct. You can also show the answers and then you can retry. Very useful, very basic. All right, let's see how it's done. Let's get started. To create a words drag and drop on H5P on WordPress, what you have to do is you'd have to go to your H5P plugin and you want to go to add new, to add a new activity. And you wanna search for drag and drop. So you have two drag and drops here. The first drag and drop, this one here is for images. The second one is for text-based activities. So today we are doing the drag the words, drag the words. Click on that and we'll give this a name. We'll just call this drag the words. So we give it a title. We write the task. This is what the student will see. What is the instruction that you want to give? You can say, please drag and drop the text to make, say, correct sentences. So it's also sometimes it's called matching. So you are matching as well. If you go down, you will see the next box, which is a text. And you have an example here of what you have to do to create the activity. So I have already some text. And this is somewhat similar to the fill in the blanks. So let me paste my text into this box. So this is what my text looks like. A week has seven days, and so on, until a minute has 60 seconds. So the words that we want to use as draggable words that have to fit in to a sentence, all we have to do is we have to put an asterisk before and after those words. For example, a week has seven days. So I am testing, I am testing the students to see if they know how many days are in a week. So I put the asterisks around seven. So right now this would look like a week has blank days and you get the word seven on the other side. A month has 30 days. Let me just copy this. And a year has 365 days. A day has 24 hours. And for the last one, the last two, I put the same answer here. An hour has 60 minutes and a minute has 60 seconds. This is just to show you that if you do have the same answer for two different sentences, then H5P um, does recognize that and you will have two 60s on the side. Whichever you drag and drop into the sentence will work. So it doesn't matter which 60 you grab and you drag and drop into the sentence. Either one would work. For the overall feedback, behavioral settings, and text overrides, you can go to tutorial number two and three and you will see an explanation of what those settings can do. There's nothing special. There are no special settings for this assignment. This is all it has to be. 
So let's just put periods at the end. So that's it. We have our question, we have our task. And as you can see here, we can't add an image like most other activities. That is fine. Drag the words. And I don't want to display the toolbar. That is basically it. We'll create it and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like now. It's not the prettiest activity um, format wise and just basically look wise. Doesn't look that great. But say the first one, a week has blank days. The answers are automatically scrambled. So every time you refresh this activity, the answers, the order of the answers gets uh, scrambled. So a week has let's put seven days, a month has 30 days, a year has 365 days, a day has 24 hours. And this is what I was talking about because the answer for the last two 60 for both it doesn't matter which one you drag and you drop so if you drag this 60 put it for number five or put it in number six it'll work in both i'll grab the other one put that there and i'll check and that says all oh, good let me refresh this page very quickly We can try to just randomly put answers in there and you'll see it is the same as the other activities. So I got them all wrong. I can check the answers, then I can retry and I can do it. Very useful activity. So to get this to the front end, we need to grab the short code here. So I'll highlight the short code, I'll copy it. I'll go to posts, I'll add a new post. Okay, don't want to do that. And we'll call this number five. Drag the text or drag the words. That's what it was called. And we want to add a short code block. That way we can put in the short code and it will work. So type in short, short code, we'll add that and we will paste our short code into here. That is basically it, we'll publish and we will view our post to see what it looks like. Okay, so it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad on uh, this page. It looks fine. Week has seven days, a month has 30 days, a year has 365, I'll just put six here, make a mistake, and we're done. Let me check. All right, that is wrong, I'm gonna retry. So another, another way to do this is not to have just sentences, but you can also have maybe a full paragraph with blanks in it, and then you have a list of words to drag and drop as well. So I did it this way because it's easier for me to, um, to do this activity, but you can definitely write a paragraph and just put the asterisks around the words that you want to test. That's it. Um, again, this is just one activity. So this is out of six. This can be part of a bigger quiz or a bigger test. We use a question set for that. So when you start a question set, you can add as many different type of activities as you want, but this is how 
to create just a drag the words activity. Thank you.